Monday, December 4th, has been declared Bill Monroe Day in Santa Cruz. The father of bluegrass music would have been 100 years old this year. And after celebrations around the world, now Santa Cruz will have a celebration of its own on Sunday, December the 4th. Monroe combined musical sounds that were sacred and secular, urban and rural, hillbilly, ragtime, sentimental and blue. His music had a driving rhythm that was modernized and streamlined. evening on the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his bluegrass boys, let her go boys. There will be two incredible bluegrass bands in town for the occasion. The first will be Peter Rowan Bluegrass Band for a 4 p.m. matinee show at the Digital Media Factory. Peter Rowan spent some of his musical career as one of Bill Monroe's bluegrass boys. <laughs> Peter Rowan will be in town to help celebrate the legacy of Bill Monroe and the bluegrass music he created. I wanted to pitch the music high. I pitched it higher than anybody in the United States ever did. I put the drive in the music with my mandolin. That's where that drive come from. That would give the fiddle some work to do, and that would be the most wonderful timing for the banjo in the world. It's the time when I said bluegrass music to it. Rowan will be doing a special live taping with his own bluegrass band on Sunday, December 4th at the Digital Media Factory at 4 p.m. Though the show will not be a tribute to Bill Monroe, much of the music will be from Peter's new project, Legacy, which pays homage to his bluegrass mentor, Bill Monroe. In all honesty, any bluegrass show is, in fact, a tribute to Bill Monroe, who single-handedly forged the genre and helped grow it into the worldwide phenomenon it is today. But I'll tell you, the best times with Bill were when we left town and we would finish playing like the Grand Ole Opry, like, and we'd be on the bus at midnight more heading north. And then you saw Bill become Bill, the man who'd been on the road for all those years. So he began to tell me what the music, the parts of the music were. And I, I mean, to me, those were the golden moments, you know. That, that's where what I picked up from Bill Monroe was more the inner workings of the music. And bluegrass was the outer aspect of the music. Mayor Ryan Coonerty will be at the matinee show with Peter Rowan at the Digital Media Factory to make the declaration for Bill Monroe Day in Santa Cruz as the excellent day of bluegrass music commences. The second show that day will be at Don Quixote's in Felton with Rob Ikes and Jim Hurst. Rob Ikes and Jim Hurst, two mighty musical powerhouses, come together for a rare exhibition of dobro and acoustic guitar fireworks and singing. Bring in your Peter Rowan ticket and get $5 off your ticket price that evening. We hope that you will join us for both of these great shows. And take her to that 